Hello, welcome to Sneak Coding. In this video, I'm going to teach you to stitch your print heads to form a one or two inch print with your Titan 20 or 40 series printer. So for the sake of the video, we'll be using the 20 series printer, but the process um, is the same. And so it's just gonna be two times over. So to start, uh, the most important thing when stitching your printer is that the print head itself, so you see here is level on all axes. So what I mean by that is we wanna make sure that and I have just this small level here, and I just like to set it right here um, on my printer there. And I can get a feel for whether it's level in this direction. And then I also wanna go ahead and set my level up here on the top, and I wanna make sure that it's also level here. This is very important to make sure that your two print heads line up together correctly. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and move on to the next step, and that's going to be um, getting things ready as far as um, the distance, the speed, um, getting our initial settings correct. So what I mean by speed, speed is extremely important when setting up your, your, your printer stitching or stitching your, your prints. So for the video right now, I have an encoder wheel um, or an encoder kit being used that's out of sight here. Um, you may see it there in the background or not. Um, anyway, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you would set the speed if you weren't using an encoder kit. If you don't have these settings set correctly or accurate, stitching your print can be a difficult process. But if you do have them set correctly, then it's quite simple. So in, you may have seen in previous videos, we used a small or tachometer that you see here. Um, very inexpensive and easy to use. Just go ahead and set it to meters per minute as you see here on my switch. And then I can hold it on the belt here. I uh, will turn on the belt. And let's see. Well, so you may not have been able to see that. Let's try that again. We've got 10.83. So we're going to call that 11 meters per minute. And we're going to go ahead and enter that into the um, production line speed. You'll do this just by going to the print settings menu. From here, you'll go ahead and pick print head. I'm sorry, print mode. And you see in the print mode screen, you can select your encoder or you can go ahead and set your production line speed. If you don't know your production line speed, grab a, a tachometer if you can and figure it out because this is very important to making sure everything is accurate. Great. Now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and start running some tests. So the first thing we need to check so let's go back into our print head option and these options here these offsets are how you're going to line up the individual print heads so for sake of this we're going to get rid of that there we'll just leave it at three for now and go ahead figure out what you want your um, offset or your delay to be where you want the first print head to line up you can use this entire offset feature to do that for my printing, I have my photo eyes set in a way that I don't want an offset at all. So today we're just going to be working with no delay or no offset. So I'm going to go ahead and run my first um, my, my my first sample through. Right, and you can see from the video that um, my bottom and my top print heads don't line up. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the distance from the bottom and the top print head. Um, in millimeters and then I'm simply going to go here to our print setting we'll go back to our print head and I see from the um, the measurement there that I'm about 49 millimeters so I'm just going to go ahead and add that here let's call this 54 great and so now I'm going to go ahead and run the next sample Great. And now you'll see that the prints are lined up nearly, nearly perfectly. We'll just make a couple minor tweaks there. But this is, is easy. This is the process for stitching your print heads. It's quite simple. And you're just going to repeat this process um, with every other print head. Now it's important and we recommend that you do each print head one at a time in order to avoid you having to go back and make changes because you'll find that 
if you adjust print head three that it may have an effect on print head two you weren't expecting. So go ahead and get those um, print heads lined up one at a time and everything should go quite smoothly for you assuming you have the correct speed. If you do not have the accurate, the correct speed set or you're not using an encoder, this process can be time consuming and take a little while because it will be essentially trial and error.